Okay, in, in this section, um, remember, um, try not to fall off the side. Um, it'll just lead you uh, down to the previous floor and stuff. Um, the enemies will uh, still be gone, but uh, it's it's just a a big waste of time in my opinion. So, and um, try and uh, stay up here. Um, best you can so <coughs> luckily uh, at this point Phoebe uh, still went before me so you seem to slide um, a little less when you're jumping but uh, of course uh, you can't jump for most of it, so... Yeah, you have to be really careful here and I go pretty slow. Um, but yeah, I think uh, about here's where I fell off. Yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah, thank God for editing. Um, hopefully that did uh, mess up the actual sound that I have, but at least uh, not too much. Our main goal for this floor is uh, um, the little cracked piece of ice that was uh, in the center there. Um, as soon as I get out of this battle, I uh, should be able to uh, see it a little more clearly, but... Uh, yeah. That, uh... cracked piece of ice in the center there, um... We're going to need a bomb to get through, so... Um... I believe that, um, the treasure chest, uh, right up above us has bombs if, uh, if you don't have any more at this point, but, um, yeah, you, you, uh, you probably should, so. Um, this will, uh, let us fall down, but, um, of course, we, we, uh, we won't, uh, go to the same places, uh, we were on the floor below us, so. Let's see. Uh, when you get to this point, um, the best thing to do is probably to fall off to the right. Um, I think you could fall off to the left and stuff, but, uh, it, it just does, it just doesn't seem to work that well for me when I do it that way. Uh, sword. Uh, we have to, um, hit one of these things that will open up, uh, the floor, uh, right there. Um, if we, uh, continue, continue to hit them, uh, don't think, uh, anything really happens, so. And, um, the treasure chest, uh, down below us, um, that is the one with the Night Sword, which, uh, is gonna be our next weapon upgrade, so. I think, uh, before I'm totally done with this section, um, I will, uh, level up, so. And I did not want to uh, actually waste uh, my thunder spells, um, at least in a group of two, so. 
Next, uh, weapon upgrade, I guess. Um, I believe it's the one for the axe. Um, the second one that we can get, uh, we don't even uh, have to get it all, so. Okay. Yeah, not quite as powerful as bombs, but, uh, since we can uh, use these things, uh, use the uh, sword uh, over and over and over again and not have to uh, worry about refilling it or anything, uh, it's really great to do so. Although the uh, enemies here um, don't really give us uh, that much experience for as difficult as they are, at least uh, in my opinion. Um, I would say um, this is probably one of the uh, better places to to grind in this uh, this area. Um, if you're pretty close to leveling up, so um, because uh, between um, now and the actual boss of the area, um, there's not going to be a whole bunch of more enemies, so. Luckily, um, at this point, I did have enough uh, to actually gain the level uh, fighting all these guys, so. <laughs> Guess, uh, I would say um, if I needed, like, maybe another. Uh, Three to five thousand experience. I probably wouldn't have gotten it. So, but luckily I did. So, and B get level sixteen uh, when you're fighting the bosses. Really good to be helpful. Um, it's gonna be much more useful to go from. 15 to 16 uh, versus the boss then say uh, from 14 to 15 so mm. Mm. As I said uh, the Lamias um, they give us a pretty paltry um, experience that uh, for their difficulty so but luckily in this area I was only fighting uh, two at a time so and unlike uh, the cat claw um, we're able to uh, take him out with uh, with one hit with that night sword so If you uh, do face Lamias um, or any other uh, enemies that actually use confusion, um, you might not want to have uh, bombs equipped when you uh, go in there. So, because uh, well, if you attack with uh, bombs, you attack not only yourself but your partner. So, um, there is the boss right there, but. Uh, uh, we don't fight him yet, so... It's just, uh, really kind of odd, but... He's there anyway, so... And the little shields that are over on the wall over there, um... They don't lead us to anywhere important or anything, um... They're just there for decoration, so... You can, uh, take them out with bombs, but... Really, uh, there's nothing behind them, so... And, like, a wimp, he runs away from us. Which... 
is really uh, kind of stupid, I think, but, you know, well, he, he doesn't run far or anything, so. Tend to get down here. There's a little uh, staircase uh, over to the right of us. Just wanted to make sure that I didn't get caught into there, but apparently I didn't, so... Uh, I, uh, I still can't figure out why the actual desert hag is here, so... Uh, yeah, I forgot to take Otto off of Phoebe there, but... I guess I uh, shouldn't have put it on in the first place, but, you know, oh well. I think what I was uh, kind of go for, going for was uh, a little bit of a feint with, uh, with the boss there, but I decided not to do it in my voiceover, so. Mm, strike first. Could be worse, uh, the enemies could strike first and, uh, do a whole bunch of, us. they just crapped me, so. Says, uh, all I would need would be to be hit with a riddle with, uh, with both the sphinxes and, uh, uh, be put with, uh, paralyzed with, uh, uh the pseudopod over there, but... You know, oh well, at least uh, that didn't happen, so... Um, and as I said, uh, the boss really didn't run uh, that far away or anything. Um, he's just up at the next room, so... Uh, kinda hoping for a first strike there, but... Oh well, you know. I wonder why, uh, why it's actually called Pseudopod. Because, uh, isn't Pseudo the, uh, prefix for fake? No. Uh, maybe it's, uh, some other thing that I'm, I'm thinking of, but... Uh, I thought Pseudo was, uh, um, the prefix for fake, but... Oh well. Yeah. I tried to uh, keep her on defense uh, because she's blinded and I really didn't want to actually waste uh, um, an arrow or anything but of course, uh, I, I guess I could have because, um, well, right after the boss, um, she leaves, so. But. Yeah, I could have, uh, just used a heal spell with her, but um, I kind of wanted to keep the extra charge for her, just in case she had to use um, cure or something, so. You don't have to get this or anything, um, only if you plan uh, getting uh, those two treasure chests on your way back, but um, yeah, it's it's mostly uh, kind of pointless. So. Okay, uh, this is the one with the boss. Be careful with uh, with actually going over um 
the uh, little bridge there on the right because I believe you can fall off so but When I get a little close to him, um, I think I'm going to heal up. Um, you don't really have to against this boss, but... Uh, I, I think it's a little better to heal up uh, before, well, any boss, so... I believe that uh, this guy is weak to fire, um, which really would make sense considering uh, he's basically just a big snowman, so, well, Ice Man. Well, yes, as, as I said, uh, this guy is pretty much a pushover because uh, we should have uh, plenty of fire charges uh, with both Phoebe and your main character. Um, if you have to, um, you can always uh, use seeds if you have them. Um, but uh, even if we run out of bandits, then. Uh, Regular attacks will work just fine, so... Yeah, and of uh, all the bosses, um... I would say uh, this guy is probably the easiest, um... I had a little more trouble with, uh, the one the bone digit of Flamethrower Rex. Um... It's because I... The first couple of times that I went through there, um, I kept thinking that because he would flame, um, he'd be weak to uh, water or ice or whatever, um, and, uh, there was no blizzard spell, so, um, we won't be getting that one for a little while here, so. But, yeah, I had no idea that I here would work against them at first, so... Phoebe <coughs> uh, must be at uh, fire spells. Ouch. Wake up. Yeah, I still wish uh, the refresher would uh, actually uh, do life on uh, somebody, but we have to wait till we uh, actually get the life spell to, uh, to be able to do it with our main character there, so. I would say at this point in the game, um, we're probably done with about 40-45% uh, of it, so... And this is what, um, I think is like, uh, episode, uh, 15 or 16 or something, so... But, um, now that Phoebe has left us, um... It would have, of course, uh, been nice if uh, she would have actually left us when we were out of here, but, you know, oh well. Um, now we can uh, get a little further on in the focus tower too, so. Um, but I will uh, just meet you in Aquaria.